Would I be the asshole if I don't tell my sister that her husband cheated? Me, M20, and my Bill, M23, are kinda very close to each other on a homie level. He opens up to me a lot and so do I he's always been very passionate about the fact that, hey op have fun while you can. It's better to just mess around than to settle, and by the way this only just started recently. I forgot to mention but my sister, F23, and him have a kid, F1, together and a second one on the way. Also they've been together for 6 years and married for 3. At first we didn't really talk to each other much but at the start of last year we really started to get it on. One day when we were hanging out, got high and apparently when you're high you just spit out every hidden secret you have. He goes, op did you know that your niece was an accident? I don't even remember what my reaction was I love my niece a lot and she loves me as well so that's just very unfortunate. After knowing that information I couldn't help but wonder, were they forced to get married after that? Reason being is my country is traditional so you getting pregnant without being married is a big no-no. Recently he started talking about how me and him should really travel to some random country just to get away from everything rest and enjoy foreign women. Not even joking word by word that's what he suggested. I laughed it off but he kept on going back to it. Okay weird I thought. Now the kicker. Last week my brother-in-law says that he met this hottie and they just hanged out the entire day till 5 a.m. in the morning even walked her home and such. I asked if anything happened he said no nothing. I didn't even get the urge to kiss that cutie, two three days later he DMS me. Guess what, I fucked her in her house. This was all through text by the way so maybe my reaction would have been different if it wasn't IDEC at this point I'm just shocked at what's unfolding in front of my very own eyes right now. I just, good job, and tried to move on but since he kept on DMing about it I ended up ghosting him. Now I'm stuck in a situation where, I really wanna tell me sister about all of this obviously but the stuff that comes with will be absolutely nuclear, why? Well first of all I'm not too educated when it comes to child support or if it even exists in my country and plus financially speaking I would fuck over three families. First my sister's family, I still think they'll end up being great together he just will grow out of it? I hope. Second and third my own family and my BIL's family are in a financial pickle right now so especially my family now just getting extra two souls plus a third reel soon will add extra back pain to our finances. I wanna put my own family's future first here and mainly my own. Since we're buddies he borrows money from me a lot so again I know how dire the financial side of things are I even had to take out a loan in his name to help him out cause his credit is so bad so me doing this would take away the financial freedom each of us have by tenfold. So Reddit what do I do, there is no correct way out of this I feel like. Why WBTA? Why would you side with the cheater that's not related to you over the non-cheater that is related to you? Tell your sister. This is not on you, it's entirely on your bill. If you tell your sister, she can make an informed decision about the relationship you're not fucking over anyone, he is. His shitty credit is not your problem. He's actively cheating on your sister and bragging about it to her brother? Why WBTA? The dude is trying to recruit you to be a co-conspirator in his cheating. If you keep his secrets you're actively betraying your own sister. You should tell your sister. You are the asshole if you don't tell her. He won't grow out of this. He fees entitled to do it without consequence or he never would have told you about it. If he and your sister are someday great together, it will require her knowing who she is married to. If this is something she can live with, it has to happen with her knowledge and consent. You know he could spread disease to her, correct? Finally, if your culture is so traditional, I would guess your sister is not free to have her own affairs outside marriage, is she? In that case, his behavior is doubly unfair to her. She is your sister. You owe her loyalty above your friend, who borrows money from you, whom you only know through her. Your entire family will be better off without this user. This doesn't sound complicated. Am I the asshole for telling my brother I don't agree with the lengths he's going to while correcting his son? My, 30 male, brother, 40 male, has 4 kids. His oldest son is Sam, 15 male. Sam's from my brother's first marriage. When Sam was 6 his mom was diagnosed with terminal cancer and she died a year later. My brother met his second wife when Sam was 8 and married her when Sam was 9. They have 3 children together now ages 5, 3 and 18 months. Sam has always called his younger siblings his half-siblings and this has always bothered my brother and Syl. They have corrected him repeatedly, taken him to therapy, individual and family, and have continued therapy for almost six years. 
It started while Syl was pregnant and Sam was saying baby was a half-sibling not just a sibling. They have changed therapists every few months when they don't like the progress being made. While doing all this they continue to correct Sam every time and my brother has told Sam's friends that Sam is wrong and he has siblings, not half-siblings. For the last year my brother has our parents and our sisters correcting Sam every time they hear him say half-siblings or half-sister, half-brother. I was told I should correct him too. But I have not. It has been a discussion and I have said it does not feel right to gang up on him and try to harass him into submission on this topic. They tell me Sam clearly isn't willing to work with a therapist to get to a point where the half doesn't matter so there's nothing wrong with nudging him along with correcting him when he slips up. My brother has been on my ass for the last couple of months about my lack of effort to correct Sam. He has told me that my five-year-old niece has started to question why her brother, Sam, is cold and why he always says they're half-siblings. He said she has already asked him if Sam loves her or if she did something wrong. So why would I not try to save her the heartache and get Sam on board with loving his siblings and dropping the half? I told him I don't agree with the lengths he's going to. I said after nearly six years if nothing has changed does he really want to break his son to get what he wants? I also asked him why it bothers him so much when his own best friend refers to his half-siblings as half, and he has never batted an eye at that. I told him he might wish things were perfect and that Sam adapted to everything perfectly but he lives in this reality and not in that dream. My brother ignored the rest of what I said and called me out for not agreeing with the lengths. He said that as a parent he has to go to whatever lengths it takes to protect his kids and to make sure they turn out to be good people. He said right now Sam is turning into someone he doesn't like and is turning into a real asshole and fuck me for judging him on his parenting. I have no right to say this to him and I do not understand the difficulty of moving on and trying to bring your kid with you after loss and he's doing his best. My brother told our mom he's disgusted with me and thinks I should reflect on my actions. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. It's not what they're called more than how they interact. They are, in fact, half-siblings. So your nephew is right. Does he treat them well? Do they play together or interact in a healthy manner besides the labeling? Your brother might be changing therapists every few months because they're not telling him he's right but rather, his son is. By dogging him and forcing the issue he's actually making it harder for his son to feel like part of the family. My five-year-old niece has started to question why her brother, Sam, is cold. Hashtag HALF brother. Not the asshole, as a parent he has to go to whatever lengths it takes to protect his kids, unless those lengths involve listening to his son and considering his point of view. Not the asshole. Tell your brother to get his head out of his ass before he ruins his relationship with his son. You have no obligation to pile on that poor kid. They are his half-siblings. His stepmom isn't his mom. Those are just basic facts of life. Not the asshole. Your brother and his wife seem oblivious to the fact that all they're doing is making everything worse. Am I the asshole for telling my mom she can't monopolize the word, mom? Note. This story is about me not calling my mom, mom, anymore, but I'm referring to her as mom for the post for simplicity sakes. I, 25 female, have been estranged from my mom for about four years. My mom went through a lot of abuse as a kid and in doing so has inflicted a lot of her own trauma onto me. To some extent, I have always tried to understand what she's going through and not blame her for why she thinks her actions are okay. But my mental health took a big toll and eventually I had to put myself first. She ended up cutting me off after an argument. I still email with my dad, we are really close, and she still allows me to see my sister, F15, with some direction from my dad. I've been with, Dean, 24 male, since I was 16. We are pretty much engaged, but I've told him I don't want anything official until I am done with school. His parents and I are super close. We had a rocky relationship when I was younger due to the abuse I was going through and trying to manage medication for anxiety, PTSD and changing therapy and Dean and I struggled. When my mom cut me off, I had nowhere to go and Dean told his parents I needed help and even though they weren't sure about me, they still dropped everything and moved me out and let me live with them. I was living at home to save money at college. Dean and I ended up having a conversation about everything going on at home and they were supportive and our relationship greatly improved. I became incredibly close with Dean's mom and at one point while helping her in the kitchen accidentally called her, mom. I apologized but she said it was completely okay and she did not mind. I had been living with them for about three years now and she was happy to be my mom for me. 
so I started calling her mom and Dean, his family, and I ended up going to the mall for holiday shopping and one of my relatives heard us talking and heard me call Dean's mom, mom. My mom ended up reaching out, angry about how I could call another woman, mom, and that she would take my sister away from me if I can't even respect her and that she still raised me. I wrote back, as we have already discussed, you did raise me but not in a safe and loving environment and then you left because you did not want to handle me calling you out. I know I was an adult at the time but I was still in college and more importantly, I was still your kid. I understand it hurts that we are not in each other's lives anymore, but I had to go seek out help and ended up in a safe and loving environment in which they helped me when you wouldn't. You did raise me, but you don't get to claim you were my mom and you can't get to monopolize that title after all the shish you put me through. My dad ended up sending me a very lengthy email on how disappointed he was in me because of that email and that I had really hurt my mom. I feel bad, but I don't know if I was wrong to call her out. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. She cut you off then got in touch to rant at you. She should be ashamed of herself. Not the asshole. Your response was articulate and entirely justified. That she is prepared to weaponize the time you spend with your sister shows you exactly the kind of person she is. Not the asshole. You can have many mothers in your life. Think of it as an honorary title given to those who loved and raised you in some capacity. I had four mothers myself. No one took offense. Not the asshole. Your mom sucks and your dad's kind of spineless. Not the asshole. It's great you were able to find an environment that you feel safe in and can get the support you need. Am I the asshole for laughing at my housemate when he suggested I not shower on my period? I've, 31 F, live in a share house. One of the housemates Jack, M30 has never lived with a woman outside of his mother but likes to say that he is aware of women's issues and calls himself a feminist. For instance he doesn't agree with the saying, no uterus no opinion, because it's my job to be informed about any issues that could affect me if I become a father or husband, which is fine until it came to this issue. So, like most biological women, I have periods. I however, cannot use tampons or cups due to a condition called vaginismus. It's pads all the time for me yay. I also, I know, the shock, shower during this time. Wow. I prepare a new pad onto a clean pair of undies, shower as normal, dry myself off in the shower, and then step straight into the undies. And obviously check the bathroom for mess. Jack's never complained nor has anyone else, so I figured my system was working. Cue today. And I can't shower for 48 hours due to a heart monitor test. I was jokingly complaining about how I was going to survive without my nightly shower and Jack looked up confused and said, how is this any different to when you're on your period? I asked him what he meant and he said, well, you can't shower on your period unless you use a tampon, and I laughed because I thought he was joking he has shown before that he was at least semi-educated on women which he got angry at. Jack said, wait well what do you do? And I said slowly, I shower? I wasn't getting it I'm afraid. Jack said, without protecting my bathroom. He does not own the house, and then went off. Apparently my period is unhygienic, it can cause infection if left on the shower floor, and he was under the impression I hadn't been showering for a week when I had my period or using tampons. I said that due to reasons I can't use tampons and he told me then I'm banned from showering when I'm on my period which I laughed again at which I did apologize for and say, I'm sorry for laughing but the audacity of that statement. I told Jack he has no way of enforcing this nor would I be sticking to this, and he said, fine. Then every time you shower, you need to bleach the bathroom afterwards, to which I couldn't help but laugh again apologizing but saying, we're in a share house. That's not reasonable when other people need to shower, use the toilet, and considering I'm sure at least somebody else pees in the shower, is ridiculous to only enforce on me. I brought that up and he said, nobody does that I've never heard of that in my life, so I just had to walk away. Jack's been complaining to other housemates about this and saying that we need to watch out for me, and we all just think he's absurd for banning me, but a couple think that I should just at least try and compromise so I'm confused. Am I the asshole? M not the asshole. I'm surprised he doesn't ask you to go into a special hut in your unclean time. The obvious solution is Jack doesn't use the shower when you have your period. He's the one with the problem. P sure because not showering for a week on your period is the more hygienic thing to do. Info. Are you the only person in the house that menstruates? I can't imagine others standing by while this unhinged rant took place. Not the asshole do you think he thinks you are gushing blood the whole time? He's going to have a tough time in this world.